Hey everybody, this is gonna be a full Mirabelle guide including how to get her on your valley and all of her friendship quests. First, you need to find the doorknob to the casita, which for me was right here. I'm pretty sure it'll be here for everyone, but it'll at least be somewhere in your meadow. So just run around until you find it. If it's not right there, pick it up and it'll start the quest for you. Then go and hunt down Merlin. You need to talk to him, give him the doorknob obviously, and then he is gonna tell you that you need to like make the casita Pretty want cool, to come back yeah. to the valley. You'll need to take pictures with three different villagers, give two of them their favorite gift and start a daily discussion with two of them so i'm just starting that right away with merlin taking a picture with him and gonna do a daily discussion with him looking through my collection to see who i want to give an easy daily gift i gave mickey a raspberry because the bush was right outside and then minnie wanted a gooseberry which i always have in my inventory so i was pumped but she was asleep girl wake up it's update day so then i had to run all the way to the beach to get this blue hydrangea for merlin which like whatever check out this two for one i got with the picture basically Kristoff's like toe was in the picture so it counted for two villagers so if you you can try to line them up in that line of sight you can get more than one done at once go talk to merlin mm -hmm. again and then you're gonna have to click on the golden doorknob to see how it reacted to your kindness and then he's gonna say you still need more dream light even if you have the dream light i don't know if the quest will stay like this but you'll have to exit out and talk to him again i was confused because it's 500 dream light so if you have 500 which i have 66 000, you just go and talk to him again if you don't just grind up some dream light duties really quickly after that, it's gonna give you the mini casita and all you have to do is obviously go place it in your village and that will bring in Mirabelle. Just so you know, the mini casita is not so mini. I had this place slotted out for it and it still wouldn't freaking fit. So I had to move some stuff around to make it work. Once I finally got that to work, it took me a few tries, just exit out and there it is. Welcome Mirabelle. Ah, so exciting. Look at the little door window thingies on the casita going crazy. And then here she is. Take time on that welcome photo, get your screenshots, and then talk to her one more time to finish the quest. It's just a dialogue. It's a really cute dialogue to go through. Once you get Mirabelle to friendship level two, go ahead and talk to her to start the quest, and then you're gonna head inside of wherever you put the mini casita. I just love how the windows and stuff flap when you walk by. It's so adorable. Once you're inside, which is a lot smaller than I expected, talk to Mirabelle again, and she's gonna ask you to help her get some supplies to rebuild the house. You'll need 15 softwood, 20 stone, two yellow daisies, three dandelions, and three green rising pinstamens. You can find all these items easily laying around your plaza and meadow, but you can always refer to your collection if you're struggling to find something. Once you've collected all of those items, go ahead and meet Mirabelle back inside the casita and give them to her. She's gonna fix up the house and it's gonna look so freaking cute now. It just goes from looking like this to looking like this. It's crazy and I love that she does that little dance. Then she's gonna say, girl, your casita needs some work too. So she's gonna send us to Scrooge to buy something. I think you can buy literally any furniture piece. So if you don't really care, you can just buy whatever is cheapest. You could most likely buy something from the catalog as well if there's something that you wanted to buy anyway, like a certain seat or whatever. And then this is also going to trigger a new quest for Scrooge as well. So might as well pick that up while you're here. And then go to your house and you just need to change the wallpaper, the floor, and place five furniture items down. Now, I personally, whenever these quests force me to do these things, I always just do them and usually undo them because I like to decorate when I'm in the mood. I don't know if I'm just stubborn or what. But either way, just mark these off the to-do list and then go back and talk to Mirabelle again. You're actually gonna end up inviting her back to your house to see what you did which i just think this quest is really adorable i just love her in general like this is just really cute so just bring her back to wherever your house is bring her inside and then talk to her one more time and that will complete this quest and mirabelle's next friendship quest will be at friendship level four once you get mirabelle to level four talk to her to start the quest she can't remember how to make one of her favorite foods bunuelios and that's so sad so we have to bring it to remy so he can try to figure out what's in it guys i'm not kidding when right before i started this quest i wanted to make a video of all the new recipes in this update and this is like pretty much the only new recipe in this update so i actually just figured this out and made it right before starting this quest okay so find remy probably in his restaurant and then give him the plate of bunuelos he's gonna tell you it's wheat milk egg and a mystery ingredient that we have to figure out well like i showed you it's cheese if you need any of these ingredients you can buy them literally right on the shelves behind me bring it back to mirabelle and she's gonna be like oh my gosh those are so crazy amazing and delicious we have to share these with others let's go make three more so then go back to a cooking station and make three more i am just a huge fan of autofill it's just how i am as a lazy player so I'm just going to autofill all three of these real quick. And then it's just going to tell you to bring one each to Mickey, Scrooge, and Goofy. So deliver each of them a delicious plate of Benuelos. And then return back to Mirabelle and that finishes this quest. And her next quest will be at friendship level 7. Once you have her at level 7, go ahead and talk to her. You're going to find out she was meddling in Scrooge and Donald's business. So then you're going to have to go talk to both of them and see what happened. So go find and talk to both of them. As usual, the story is the same but a little bit different. And then return back to Mirabelle and talk to her 
her again. Now we're gonna head to the forest to find the cash register key and feed two raccoons. I was really struggling to find this key. Like I ran over my entire forest and I couldn't find it. I even pulled out my number one hack of going into furniture mode and zooming all around the location because you can see things laying on the ground. And I still wasn't really able to see any dig holes, but thankfully after just running around and trying to feed my raccoons and other things, I did discover the key sitting right back here in this corner. Here it is on the map. I'm hoping it'll be in the same place for you. This is where I have Anna's house, so I'm really glad that I found it this way. You can actually see the key sitting out of the dig hole so you don't have to dig a bunch of holes like see how you can see the key directly so that's how you know that you found it if it's not there for you just keep running around it'll be tucked in the corner somewhere and you can also use the furniture method i recommended and just look for a key sticking out of a hole raccoons like berries there's blueberries in this area that i like to give them and when they're standing up like this do not move see how i'm going when it's sitting down but then when it stands you have to stop so i kind of just go one little second at a time and then once you get this close you can actually approach it so once you've found your key and done this with two raccoons you're gonna go ahead and bring the key back to scrooge then you're gonna head back to mirabelle who wants to give scrooge an apology gift so you're gonna have to gather some supplies first she'll give you a recipe book so go in your inventory and use that so you can learn the red fruit pie recipe and then you're gonna need eight glass ten soft wood five clams and five scallops if you don't have this stuff sitting in your storage head down to the beach that's where you can find clam scallops and sand for the glass once you have all of the supplies you can craft the frame in the furniture section and then head to the stove to make the red fruit pie I love the autofill option, but it's just wheat, butter, and then any fruit. I don't know if the fruit actually has to be red. And then you're going to bring the frame and the pie to Mirabelle, give them to her, and then she's going to take them to Scrooge and you're going to have to watch. So awkwardly stand there. After that, just talk to her one more time and that completes this quest. Her next friendship quest will be at level 10. Once you get Mirabelle to level 10, talk to her. She'll end up giving you this torn cloth. So go into your inventory to inspect it and it'll pop up this memory. I instantly got so happy and excited when I saw this. So then talk to Mirabelle again and then you're going to have to search the beach for the missing pieces of table. I'm not sure if these pieces spawn randomly or in the same locations but two of mine were needed to be dug up and then two of them were just sitting out in the open so just run all over your beach like a crazy person until you get all four and if you can't find one you can try going into furniture mode so you can see a little bit clearer the entire beach once you have all four pieces bring them back to mirabelle and then you're gonna have to get some help from some friends so find anna and moana and talk to both of them Oh, that rhymed, Anna and Moana. This part of the quest is actually time gated for what I believe to be 24 hours. You'll notice during Moana's dialogue, she says that her part will take half a day. And during Anna, she'll say, it'll probably take us a day. And then our part of the quest is to make three foods for the friendship fest. We need to make Buñuelos, large seafood platter, and chocolate chip cookies. You do have to cook these fresh, they can't just be ones from your storage or inventory, but you should already have the recipes from prior quests, and if you don't, Anna will actually give you these recipe books that you can learn them with. Y'all know how much I love autofill while cooking, but if not, you can see the recipes here on the screen. You can just click the quest tab under your recipes and then click autofill, and as long as you have the ingredients, it'll just put them right in for you. Always be careful while autofilling though, especially if you have like festive fish, you can see here that it tried to use my festive squid. I don't know why it does that. Tinker Lily told me the other day to put them on the floor and that's a really good idea. But then someone else told me that they did that, pick them up and then accidentally cook them anyway. So just be careful. Once you have all three recipes done, there's really nothing to do until 24 hours. You can see here it says to wait for them to finish their tasks and I finished this around 5 p.m. yesterday and I did log in a few times to check if it was done. I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. for this, but this was around 9 a.m. this morning. You can see Moana was done, so that's why I believe hers is 12 hours and Anna is 24. I tried a few other times, but it wasn't until after 5 p.m. I logged in here and you can see that Anna is done. However, I accidentally sold one of my meals during that time, so now I have to go remake it so don't make that mistake that I did. Okay, now that that's finally fixed and everyone is done, we can see we need to bring the meals to Anna. Once you talk to Anna, you need to go talk to Mirabelle, who's gonna be really excited, and she's gonna give you the table to go set up near the mini casita. You can also optionally change your outfit to something casual and cute. For some reason, this was already marked done for me. I guess they're saying my outfit is cute. But I decided to get dressed up anyway. I was really, really excited about this dinner party and that's where my story gets kind of sad here. You guys are gonna see. I really hope this doesn't happen to any of you guys. You actually, I don't know if this is like a error with the quest or if this is just a freak accident that happened to me. But as you can see here, I was really excited about this dinner party. I was even clearing the area, which I never care. I was trying to put a gazebo to cover us from the rain, but it wouldn't fit. So eventually I just gave up and decided, okay, whatever, we'll just be in the rain. I got my rain outfit anyway. And my game just completely froze. It just would not unfreeze. Um. I don't know, so I ended up having to restart it. 
it did save, but when I got back on, this quest step was just completely skipped. I was so sad. The table was gone and all that was left was to talk to Mirabelle. There was no way for me to go back unless I like reset my save, which I'm not gonna do. I would essentially have to replay the entire update, which is just not worth it to me. I'm just gonna watch other people's videos of the dinner party. Please comment down below if anyone else had this experience or if you haven't done this yet, you might wanna wait to see if they post anything on the Trello board. I have not heard of anyone else having this happen to them. It might've just been a freak accident with me. The last step is to talk to Mirabelle to do that and that'll finish off her level 10 quest. The skirt and poncho that you receive are super cute. Here they are. I love them. As well as the table which I put right outside the mini casita and I think it's so cute. If this video helped you out or you enjoyed, please drop a like. It really helps me out and subscribe if you're new for more guides and content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a really great rest of your day.